place is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We uh, we can take a look at the whole barn and whatnot, but let's just walk along sure. here and see what we're all about. You had been milking cows here up until 2011. 2011, mm -hmm. five years ago. Yes. And you concentrate now on cash grain being the both corn, corn and, and soybeans. soybean. My younger son Eric, who he and I are the ones that actually run the farm here with, with my wife Sue, and uh, he fills that silo and he keeps a herd of about 80 to 100 beef cows and uh, he feeds the beef out of that silo year round. Just trying to figure out, you're making 55,000 pounds of milk shipped today. Who milks all these people? Who does all the work? We have five um, Hispanic workers. Yeah. And actually, Jose just left last week, and he'd been with us for seven years, but he went back to Mexico. So. Good workers. So. Oh, they're really good people, and they keep the houses clean. They sex semen on, on some of the animals. So. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty much guaranteed now. You can get uh, a half or calf. Eighty-five percent, probably, yeah. Yeah. or higher, to get a half or calf. So, so there's plenty of half or calves, and that's one of our problems nationwide. Is because of so many females, so many right. replacements right. are available. So that drives the price of milk down. Well, <laughs> that's, it's a vicious cycle. How many cows were you milking? We had 180 dry cows in milk, and we milked about 150, 160. Yeah. And we had about and about 100 head of young stock. And other than your family, did you hire? Uh, we had uh, we hired a. The last seven years, we hired a Mexican. Mm -hmm. He did the milk and. Most of it. Anyway. Yeah, 90 percent of it. He yeah. had a day a week off. Yeah. He stayed with us seven years, and most of the time they hang around for three. And he left us. We hired another one, Mexican, and uh, he was going to come back, but we sold the farm. So most our, of the our, our original Mexican was going to come back. Right. Yeah. Only if he could work for us, because that's why he stayed. Because he oh. loved Jack so much. I guess I would have to probably say that with Farm Bureau, uh, the New York State Farm Bureau is the lobbying group. Um, and there's also an American Farm Bureau organization. Farming in this area has changed a little bit over the last 30 years. It's gone from a small, more of a, of a mom and dad with a one son farm to more of a, they're still family owned, but they've gotten larger, mainly because of the cost of everything that's gone up. It's a little more efficient for some of these farms to go. They've gone from 100 cows to 500 to 1,000. But from a political aspect of it, the uh, regulations have gotten a little stricter on those farms. America is got to be 100% dependent on themselves to grow their own food. We can't start go doing that overseas. We moved here in '86. And in 94, we put the addition on, then we took 94, 5, and 6. We did it in thirds. We'd do the barn during the winter, tongue and groove, and then varnish it, triple coat. I was just thinking, you moved here in 86, and now it's 2016. That's 30 years. Yes. And I used to work in your barn in 1956. Exactly. 30 years before, before you that. Before you yep. move, and that's the year right. I I started milking cows in 1954. Yeah, uh, I was 10 years old, and uh, I actually milked cows uh, for 56 years. Right. I quit when I was 66. So did my father. Yep. It's good and time I, to get done. 